Hello, people. It's me, Maris. Hook a sister up. Do me a favor. <clears throat> First and foremost, love this video. Comment where you're watching from or if you have any specific questions or anything, any comments you want to make, um, as long as they're not hateful. I'm not in the mood for hatefulness. Um, and then share this video. And if you're not already a follower, follow me. Help me out. Um, I would follow you if you asked me to. Um, what I have here is a little Palo Santo stick. Now, um, I buy or I order, whatever you want to say, my Palo Santo stick. All my Palo Santo I get from Tribal Connects in, uh, from Peru. I don't um, go out there, um, I, you know, I wouldn't go and buy a rhino horn. So, um, I'm not going to go and buy Palo Santo that somebody illegally harvested or whatever. So, um, if anybody has any questions about where I get my stuff, I'll be happy to um, let you look at my invoices. You can pay for them, too, if you'd like. Um, but uh, even like the um, white sacred sage that I buy and I have here and that I sell, yeah, I sell it. Um, I get those from sage farms. I get those from people, um, Native American groups that actually go out there and harvest that and sell it. It's like when I buy the big conch cells, you know, the cells for shells for um, smudging. I buy those from Native American companies. I do my best to buy things that are of that effect by people that are going to benefit from their tribe or their group, their people will benefit. So, <clears throat> without further ado, today um, on uh, Instagram, we're going to do an Angels of Atlantis reading. These cards, and when I say dark, I'm not talking as an energy. I'm talking about the way that they're printed off um, are a little bit dark. So, I hope that there's enough lighting in here. Um, so that you can get a great view of it. I just finished up a really cool reading. I used um, the Divine Tarot on Facebook. So if you have a Facebook account, go check me out at Oklahoma Healing Connection. Um, because if I don't do a reading on one channel, I'll do a reading on another channel. And also on YouTube, same name. Mystic Mirrors, I think, is what my name is on um, uh, Tickety Talk. I was so hesitant about doing TikTok for the longest time, and I actually... Hey, Jack, how are you? Angela, how are you? And happy birthday, or might be belated birthday, Angela. I don't really celebrate birthdays. I mean, I, I know how old I am, but it's kind of like, I'm like, every day should be a celebration, <laughs> personally. Every day is a celebration. I'm glad every day that I'm alive. Um trying to bring in a lot of joy, you know, I think that we um, start embracing, hey Jack, did you get my package in the mail yet? Um, that I think that when um, we start embracing things that make us happy or um, allow us to look at things in a happy way, um, you know, what I'm going to call happy eyes, that we start to see the beautiful um, in everything. Okay, you should get it today then at the very latest. I went to um, the post office over on, uh, off of Reno, you know, the big one on, like, I, I love that one. Um, so you should get it today. Uh, you know, what's funny is I'm, I'm over here laughing and I go, I bet my friend that I sent something to that lives out in Marlowe, I bet you she got hers already. Can't even deliver here in the city quick enough. Um sometimes but oh well just um, text me and let me know when you get it um you'll know which one's for you and which one's for yeah whoa okay all right so um does everybody have something to eat drink um smoke whatever you do uh because there there's a lot of cards a lot of cards came flying out, um, so I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit on the long side. So grab your snack, grab your smoke, your drink, your whatever you do, um, and let's start off with this. Now, 
I am a really big fan of angels. I love working with angels. I work with them quite a bit. And um, I'm kind of like Sandophilon. Um, I, I haven't done like tons of work with Sandophilon um, before. Um, and people are like, really? And I'm like, really? Um, he hasn't always um, been really um, prominent in my life. Um, one of the things that I understand... Um, about him is he, he teaches, um, or Sandophilon does a lot of teaching, um, about your life, um, your life plans, your life expectations, your life purpose, etc. So in here, um, what I'm picking up, what I'm kind of feeling, um, on this one is, um, and I'm going to say it like this, no love lost and <clears throat> no love lost. And I'm going to say, sometimes we're in situations that we need to disconnect um, from. Um, we're in relations. Sometimes we're in relationships and relationships don't always mean like romantic. It can be your work relationship. It can be <clears throat> a spiritual relationship. Um, and I'm getting, you know, one of the instances or something that I'm picking up in is like you've been sitting in the church pew and you've been going to church every week and you're being really diligent. But when you're sitting out there in the pew, um, you are not um, connecting in with what's being shared. Um, I almost have a thing. It's kind of like you're sitting in the in, and then going, that's not what I thought or that's not what I feel like, hmm, where is that coming from? And, um, you know, the same thing in our workplace, uh, you know, in our relationships is this realization that things really aren't what they seem to be. And that when we start to recognize that, and, um, and that's what this is, is this recognition that we actually don't have any love loss with it. Um, what I'm meaning on that is that breaking away from some things, um, some traditions, some habits, whatever, isn't really going to affect us in the way that we would have thought of six months ago or even a year. I could never leave that job. I work with such wonderful people. Okay, but you're miserable every day when you go to work. And I'm not dissing the people that you're working with, but I'm like, how is that wonderful? You know, if it's whatever you're doing, if you're not filing, finding a hundred percent passion with that, um, that's not always going to be beneficial to your vibration. That's the gist of this first card and it's Sandophilin upside down. Now, the next card that comes in is going to be what I'm going to call our obstacle. And our obstacle is this forgiveness card, but it's upside down. And so I'm going to say it is our lack of forgiveness or a sense of apathy that is going to kind of block us and not allow us to see things in its full beauty. And that sometimes can be okay. Um, we can have an, and now apathy is a lack of concern, a lack of feeling, a lack of emotion. If I'm apathetic, I'm like, I don't care. And this is what it's saying. It's going to say, um, you need to make sure that you have your I don't care um, attitude. Make sure that you have your I don't care attitude in check. That's what this is saying. It's like, uh, it can kind of get you in trouble. Um, and I mean, not like Trouble, trouble, but it can get your heart in trouble where you're blocking some joy when you're not picking up on that, in, that, in, that, um, energy. So it's like when we are very apathetic or lack, and I don't want to say lackadaisical in our emotion, but apathetic. We're like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Well, those, yeah, I don't cares can get you into an emotional bind. Um, it can get you into a mental bind. <clears throat> okay. Woo, excuse me. Now, <clears throat> honey, 
is another one of the um, archangels. And this is um, where our help is, and it's talking about courage. Um, I'm going to also use the word desire with this. Not only is it courage, but it is also desire. For those of you um, that speak a little Spanish, we'll talk about ganas. Es like, como las ganas, que, tra que traigo las ganas de hacer una cosa nueva. I have the desire, I have the energy, I have the vibe to do something new. Okay, and that's what this is in here. This is to look at something differently, do something differently, having the strength, the courage to stand up and go, oh, hey, I'm going to do it this way. And they're like, no, we've always done it this way over here. And you're like, mm, you know what? That's old fashioned, outdated, and you're putting in way too much work for what you need to do. I'm going to start standing up for myself, and that's what this is right here, this courage to stand up and start implementing the changes, necessary changes in your vibe, Im implementing necessary changes in your vibe. Ah, oh, Raphael. <clears throat> And Raphael's coming. I love Raphael. Raphael is all about the um, health for me when I think about Raphael. And, I, and it's funny. Um, when I do angel healings, the angel, angel healings and the archangel healings and Raphael comes in, the energy totally changes with me or for me. Um, and how it changes is, now you remember, uh, I came from a medical background. I worked in the medical world. Hey, Cheyenne. For, you know, like 20 something years in and out, you know, but for a long time I worked in the healthcare industry. And so when Raphael, Archangel Raphael walks into the room or comes into the room and into a healing session, it is like those physicians bark and orders. And I'm like, dang, um, I love, I love you, Archangel Raphael. Um, I'm so glad that you like don't bark orders so fast that I can't keep up. Thank you. Um, but Raphael is very uh, much into putting the physical self into an alignment and uh, in being in um, and constantly. And I, I don't want to say constantly in a state of detoxification, but about making your body um, healthy and making your body stable and strong. And that's what we're looking at through here is that we kind of have a resistance to taking good care of ourselves. Um, we have a resistance. Um, it's kind of like I'm so focused on making everything else around me um, beautiful or in a great place or stable or in alignment that I'm not taking I'm not taking attention or time to make sure that I am I personally this vessel um, this sacred temple. So take care of your sacred temple because Raphael, my archangel, my physician, Dr. R is telling me or telling us that we're not taking care of our bodies. We're not taking care of our, our sacred temple and that it's really important that we start really working on keeping our sacred temple, um, clean and cleansed and in a good place. Um, this is a time of coming in that we're kind. It's a lot of strife. Um, it's a lot of strife. And what I'm picking up through here is that um, that strife is not really related towards you personally or towards me personally. It's kind of like a blanket strife. Um, and it's the indication is really to kind of make you feel shishy. Feel crappy about yourself. Doubt who you are. Doubt your gifts. Doubt your talents. Doubt your self-worth as a person, um, especially within this society, um, within, you know, our current times. This is all about, you know, creating these seeds of doubt. You're not good enough. Yes, you are good enough, damn it. You're wonderful. You're a beautiful person. You're a phenomenal vibration. 
Um, and then we have that little, you know, that voice that's whispering in the ear trying to keep us down. And this is saying, okay, you got that voice and that voice is whispering. Are you going to pay attention to it? Um, are you going to disregard it? And Haniel's back in the picture and he's over here like, uh, yeah, we're going to disregard that. Haniel, um, comes through and he's talking about, um, the importance of, uh, the um, that importance of like loving yourself, um, giving yourself honor, giving yourself um, respect, knowing that you are strong enough to stand up um, and take care of what you want to take care of, go in the direction that you want to go with. Um, it is <clears throat> okay. It is totally okay to ask for help. Do not assume, do not assume that um, everybody understands or everybody's reading that energy um, and can see that you need help. Um, sometimes, and I'm going to say even as a healer, and I'm, and I'm, all right, sometimes we don't intervene, healers, we don't intervene until you ask for intervention. You ask for assistance, you ask for help. And that willpower card, when I'm looking at this, is talking about bringing up that sense of being able to ask for help as well. Being strong enough. And it's and I'm going to say, those that want to sit there and suffer and fall down into an abyss on that, um, and, you, and you know that you can ask for help, but you're choosing not to, that's what this is indicative of. Um, it is indicative of you asking for help. And to be specific in the help that you want, because um, often when we we'll, we'll be like, help me and somebody comes in and they they have a different perception of how you need help. And if you're not being really coming through and saying, this is where I feel my weakness, this is where I feel, you know, um, a low point. This is where I feel like I don't have grace. Uh, and you ask for something specifically or direction with something specifically, um, it allows that person that's helping you to start working within your vibration and help you make that weakness into a strength. Um, we may on the, so as a healer, I'm going to say sometimes people will go, come in and go, oh, help me. Okay, great. I want to help you. But if you don't tell me what you personally need at this very given moment, I'm going to go by with what I'm picking up out of your vibration as a weakness and work to make it a strength. And you're like, well, I didn't come for that. I came for this. Well, if you didn't, you know, specify what you want help with, then you're going to get what the universe is perceiving to be the greatest areas that need help and need love, need guidance in, if that's making any sense um, for some of you. Um, I love Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, um, I, I'm like, I know this dude, Michael, Archangel Michael, I know he is walking with me all the time. I know that his strength is there. I know that his protection is there. Um, I love hanging out with Archangel Michael. Michael is like this really cool dude. Um, Sometimes his vibration kind of comes across a little Russell Crowish from the Gladiator. And then other times he comes by as like a really gentle giant. Um, and then other times, I mean, it's like, you can hear the uh, swords clanging, you know, the whoosh as it's going by. Sometimes I'm wondering if he's not using... Um, um, I don't want, it's not nunchucks, um, but what's the name of the little thing that's like the ball with the spikes on it and they swing it around and peg you in the head in it? Okay, so I mean, it's like you can tell when there's some spiritual warfare going on because you'll start hearing all of this stuff. And Michael, um, in this next card, is focusing on our transmutation. I like transmutation. 
I like transmutation a lot because it takes us from one level and elevates us and brings us up to another level. It's an ascension. It's about using your strengths in order to move forward and, uh, and move forward and move up or ascend. So this is where Michael's saying, he's saying, you know what? You're actually going to be cutting off a lot of these things that are dead weight or no longer important. So at the beginning when we were talking about, you know, kind of lackadaisical, um, being a little bit lackadaisical on ourself and, uh, having, you know, that lackadaisical approach that it allows us to see the perspective of things and be able to change what we want in our life without it being an emotional entanglement. And then that is what truly starts to lead to this growth or this change in who we are, where we're going, and what we're doing. Um, I love this next card because it's the gratitude card. I love Zodkiel. Zodkiel and Jophiel um, hang out with Michael a lot. Um, and they also kind of hang out, um, with Uriel as well and Metatron. But what I'm looking at through over here, when I'm looking at this, um, card and it's a gratitude card, um, but let's take a look at the picture for just a second. Here, let me move this down here. Okay, there we go. Um, let's take a look at this picture. This picture is a cornucopia. Okay, so we've got tons of fruits and vegetables to choose from. I guess they're more like, yeah, there are some veggies in there too. Okay, so we got tons of fruits and vegetables. So we have a lot of things that bring us nutrition that are delicious, that are um, riquissimo. Um, so I'm like laughing here and it's like, we got a lot of good bounty coming into our life. Um, when we start change, making these changes and cutting off ties that are no longer necessary, we really start to see the cool groovy stuff come to the forefront. And that's what this is right through here is the cool groovy things. And it's the, the purposeful recognition of the cool groovy things that are happening in our life and, and the bounty that we bring. So there's a lot of good positive energy through there. I like that vibration. Often we get stuck in places that we, um, often we get stuck in places that we don't like. Um, whether it's a mood or um, a workplace, a relationship, friendships, whatever. And we don't really know how to get out of that. Um, and then once we do get out of that, we really see what we have and that we can have um, a sense of gratitude with that. Um, my man, I love Metatron. I love Metatron. Metatron has some really cool... Um, strong energy. You know, Metatron, they say it was en Enoch when he walked on earth was Enoch. And when he was ascended into heaven, um, he tra had a transmutation into Metatron. Metatron is the big kahuna when it comes to archangels. And they'll go, isn't it Michael or Uriel or... You know, Raphael or Gabriel? No, it's Metatron. Metatron is the big kahuna. He is in control. Um, and I'll bring the leather. I'll text you. Um, I may or may, may not be here. If I'm not here, um, I'll put it outside um, and on the door. I'll put it in a bag on the door for you. The three for ten. Um... You know, at some point in time, Cheyenne, you really do need to come in and get a get some Reiki healing. That would be a good idea. Um, but Metatron, when we look at Metatron, what we're talking about in Metatron is that wisdom, is that knowledge, is that sense of knowing. Um, and and I keep laughing um, in my head because I see all those memes and I'll be like they used to call me the crazy guy and the conspiracy, conspiracy theorist now they're eating their words because I was right um, knowledge is really strange and wisdom is really strange um, knowledge 
um, can empower us and knowledge can also kick us off the platform, okay? Knowledge can get you in a lot of trouble. Wisdom is knowing when and where and how to use your knowledge for the betterment of not only yourself, but for the betterment of everybody involved. That's the difference through there. And so when we're looking at this card and this wisdom card, that's what this is. This wisdom is knowing what is a truth, what is it, what is an, in, it has integrity, um, what is authentic, what is real, and what is not real, what is a truth, and what is a facade. And Metatron is going to be playing really heavy into this role, really heavy into the energy, in order to keep us um, in alignment and on the right path or on the right, yeah, on the right path. Um, so with that, now the we got two cards left. Um, this next card is another Haniel card, and this is where we have Haniel is like really bringing up a lot of our personal inside feelings and inside things. Guys, um, fear will eat you alive. Fear will eat you alive. Um, and I'm just going to get, I'll get churchy here for a moment. And you know, in scripture, um, in scripture, it says 365 times, fear not. Do not let fear overcome and rule your path because this is this potential energy, this potential thing that you're going to be wanting to buy into the fear. Don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. Have an apathetic approach to the things that they are placing in your path, on your social media, in your news, on your newspaper. What are they talking about at the water um, fountain at work? Not a water fountain, but you know the Ozarka machine, you know, the same thing. Stay away from the fear. Stay aware f away from fear mongering. Um, anytime it wants to create this, this pot that's being stirred, that's going to give everybody a stomach ache or everybody a little sense of um, metaphorical food poisoning, you want to stay away from that. You know, look at it and go, okay, what is the truth in this? What is the truth? Often what I will do when people are talking or I'm reading something um, on the, when I'm reading something on, like on the internet, um, I like to take my tongue and throw it up on the roof of my mouth and I'll do this thing and I'll sit back and I'll go, show me what the truth is. Tell me what the truth is. Because you're going to get a lot of energy that's bombarding around and it's going to distort what truths are. <laughs> but when you sit back and you ask yourself, what is truth? That truth will come to the forefront and you'll be able to work through that. So... Don't um, hesitate to um, embrace hope. That's, I mean, I know I'm looking at this card and it says, you know what, we're going to be like feeling desperate almost. Okay, don't buy into the desperation. Um, remember that you are responsible for creating beautiful things within your own life. That you alone can create your own joy. You don't need something outside of you um, to... Uh, to create joy, to create inspiration, to move you forward, to inspire, and that's this inspiration card. Um, this is about finding your link within you and taking it from the inside out and um, sticking it and loving it. When you start feeling joy, start sharing that joy with other people. And joy can start really simply by a smile on our face and sharing that smile. Um, when you go to a drive through doing the hi, how are you? Um, I'm so glad you're working today. And I know that sounds just like so ridiculous. And I'm like... People need to, to understand that joy is something that we can feel from the inside. And more importantly, we can take that joy and share it on the outside. Regardless of any adversity, any negative information, anything negative going on, 
Be that little sliver of joy and allow it to shine from the inside out. Not only does it inspire you and motivate you and move you to be a greater person, be a better person, and to do great things, it also helps inspire and motivate the people that are in and around you, in your vibe zone, in your tribe, you know, and that's the the metaphorical, you know, your your vibe tribe, uh, as well as your tribe. Um, and then also even the people that you just cross paths with, like the guy at the uh, drive through at McDonald's, be cool, be a great person, do cool things, say hi, thank you, I'm glad you're here. Be that sense of inspiration, be that sense of grace, be anything that you want to bring into your life. The angels are saying it's okay for you to embrace that and start living that truth. So peace, love, and harmony. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reading and have a most magical, wonderful Tuesday. It was great to see you all today.